Welcome back to our channel. Yeah, and it's been a while, but today we're actually going to do a special talk. This was inspired by our, this is our 11th year anniversary. Yay. And <laughs> as we were going to get dinner, the one was reading comments from one of the subscribers saying, hey, you know, some marriage questions. So we want to talk about marriage and we also are going to be doing a mukbang. Yeah, mukbang, <laughs> whatever. Is it mukbang or mukbang? I don't know. I don't know We're going to be eating <laughs> and we're going to be talking. Yeah. And you know, I like to eat. I like to talk. Yeah. So eat and talk with us. Yeah. I don't know why we didn't try this sooner, but I, I think know. today this is definitely the perfect day to try. Yeah. We're still going to have to do this with the kids. Somebody did ask one time, but mm -hmm. we're going to do it marriage edition today. Oh yeah. So we have here <laughs> some sushi. This is some uh, deep fried sushi. Yes, it's called TNT. Rolls. Oh yeah. And I have Publix wings. If you haven't had them, try them. You can get 20 for like $10. We have a little bit more sushi. We have, um, oh, spicy tuna, spicy tuna with cream cheese. Yeah. And the shrimp and crab with uh, cream cheese. Oh, the rock and roll. The rock and roll. That's what yeah. that is. That's, what, that's what that is. Wouldn't be complete though without, we from the South. We got is the that, have it. Is that Lamar? Yeah, you know the mall hooked this thing up. Yeah, we got our sweet tea, mm -hmm. of course, to drink. And we're having our... It is our anniversary, mm -hmm. so it wouldn't be right without... A glass of sparkling, sparkling rosé. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Non-alcoholic sparkling yeah. grape cider or it's grape juice. It's really, really good. Oh, yeah. I'm going to pour me another cup right now. Are you ready to get started? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, let me see. <laughs> <It's mukbang. laughs> mm. Mm. Well, I'ma just eat it very softly. That's how they do. No, that's that's, that's SMR. Oh. Well, or ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> so but just eat as well. Mm hmm I've been sitting here being cute pillin' it. Mm-mm. Mm. So we've been together going on. 15 years in July, married for 11 years, and it doesn't feel like it at all. It still feels like we've only been married, not even a year. It feels like we just started dating, to be honest. Even though we have three kids together, it doesn't feel like it at all. At all. I don't know about you, but mm -hmm. not to me. I can't believe it's been married 11, dating <laughs> almost 15. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. And we we were kids. I guess we're adults now. I guess so. It doesn't feel like I still feel between. I still feel like 25, but we've been married since I was 20, 20 years old. But it doesn't feel like it. I still feel young, really young. Even though we're young, I feel really young. Yeah. So I, for me, acting like an old man. <laughs> me too. Mhm. Mm yeah. Nothing really changed. Like our the feeling, uh, the excitement of getting to go out. Mhm. Mm and hang out with each other. I know like if I have an off day, I'm gonna be chilling my boo. Exactly. That has not gone away. Yeah, we get excited, especially the kids when like, daddy's gonna be home like all oh, week, what? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is, um, yeah, cause this is happening over Thanksgiving break. Not sure when it's gonna be out though. <laughs> mm -mm. But it has gone so quick. And every day what we've been doing, hanging out. Hanging out every night till like two, three in the morning, which is crazy. I think that's part of uh, that's part of that keeping that marriage alive and keep that fire burning. Mm -hmm. and yeah, as far as I still look at Dewana and look at her the <laughs> the same way. Like, mm, how you look at me? My boo fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you already know you look good. Mm, I don't you. know how do you get better looking with age. Not that it's all about looks, but honestly, I thought back in the day he was. He couldn't get no better looking. And 15 years later, or going on 15 years later, you're even better looking than when the day I met you. Mm, I think you just like me more. Oh, I know what it is. What is it? Tell the truth. You started dressing me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that started back when um, 
And back our Panama City trip. Mm. That was. I started dressing mm. you then. Hold on. It's okay. You got some YouTube. Mm. Get out. Let me get that. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was uh, that was back then. Remember, that was when I was just starting to switch my style. That's when I got them shoes you don't like. Them shoes you tired of now. The brown ones. The brown Maddens. <laughs> Yeah, like, I still had baggy jeans. But what my, was you wearing before that? My shirts was getting a little tight. Hmm? But what was you wearing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What were you wearing before that? Before that, I was dressing, you know, all baggy jeans, baggy shirt, the what white kind of tall shoes? Forces, of course. What? Gotta come correct. Gotta come. <laughs> Gotta come correct. Air Force Ones, white on white. I like the low tops. <laughs> yeah. Back when wow. I was putting my do rag on every night, I don't, I don't do that no more. Trying to get some waves that he, he never got. Yeah, at that point I was trying to slick my hair down because I figured I gave up on the waves. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, ever since then, that's when my boo she been uh, dressing me and switching my style up. I think that's why maybe why you like me more. Start mm. dressing more and more. Yeah, you still do picking up my clothes. And I do your haircuts. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. So she pretty much you like my. Keep me fresh right now. You like my little Barbie doll. Oh yeah. See, that's one thing. good thing about marriage. As you mm, get you married, do. you learn, hey, I'm just gonna let my spouse do what she wanna do with me. And like, same with Dewana. I, mm -hmm. You know, I kinda he just, try to switch her style up here and there. You help me figure out if your pants are too tight to the point where it's taking away your figure, you need a bigger size. Mm -hmm. Because I used to be swearing up and down. No, -uh, mm -mm, I am a size two, size three, until I was, he was like, "No, you need to try these on." And like, at please. that time, I was a size five. I'm not a five now. I'm like a nine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you gotta let that thing breathe. Yeah, let it. You know, it's, you have to dress your shape. Yeah. And he helped me with that. Yeah. Other than that, we just been. Uh... Mm, that's what it was just for. And I love to try to I mean, just try to do something. Yeah. You know, try to do new things or find something new to do. Or, like we did today, a nice romantic candlelight dinner at home. Not for some footage. Like, we could have easily went out and spent this money somewhere else, but we decided why don't we just buy the food, come home, make it look nice and enjoy each other's company here. Don't have to worry about a babysitter. Don't worry about having to be out too late, coming home tired. Like, this is perfect. And that's another thing. You don't always have to spend a whole lot of money to go and enjoy yourself with your spouse. You have to just come up with creative things to do to enjoy each other's time. And I don't know how we came up with this. Did I come up with this? I think, I think so. I did. Mm -hmm. I bought us an electrical fireplace and I was like, you know what? I want to have a candlelight dinner in front of the fireplace. And this is awesome. Came mm -hmm. out better than I expected. Oh yeah. I couldn't wait. Once she mentioned that, I said, oh yeah, we're going to have a nice picnic. Have oh some yeah. Good food. Oh, we didn't get the basket, but you know what? We didn't need it. Yeah, we didn't need the basket. <clears throat> that was perfect. This is muscle. Bro, I'm ready right for some of that sushi now. Mm -hmm. What am I saying? You keep drinking both teas, boo. Oh, I, I think this is the first time I He keep this. drinking both both teas, <laughs> trying to get all of his rank. Uh -uh. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I'm smacking. I didn't realize I was a smacker until I got with Curtis. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you know who, lo who I love to be around when we eat? His brother. My Maurice. brother. Yeah. We both smack. He can't stand it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is so funny. What's up, Beefy? <laughs> hey, uh, I hope you're watching this. <laughs> That's for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. He getting in on the sushi without me? Hold on. Mm -mm. Mm, I'll let you... Uh... We're gonna have one set of chopsticks. They, they didn't give me some. Because it's more romantic this way. Mm. Mm hmm. I might need me some of my sauce and stuff. Oh, yeah. Me, I like some wasabi with some 
sui sauce. That's the only way I like it, depending on the kind of sushi it is. Now, if it's a crunchy sushi with all the good stuff inside, don't need it at all. But if not, your girl needs it. And you just take it, mix it up like this. Learned this from my brother-in-law. Mm -hmm. Mix it up. Mm. And we had salad earlier, so this is the salad bowl. So if you see all those little pieces of carrots. Dip, dip, dip. Ooh, I think I'm gonna dip this in there. Mm. This will be good in there. Mm. Cause this, we're gonna bring it out just a little bit. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Come on. Need my own bowl of that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, now since we've been talking about, you know, keeping the fire burning and having a good marriage and stuff, um, one thing that people tend to get distracted by or pe ten, uh, people tend to make excuses around is when you have kids. Now, when you have kids, it does take up a lot more time you know, and, and you're going to have to adjust your schedule, but just because you have kids doesn't mean that anything changes as far as, you know, the passion that you mm -hmm. should have in the relationship. Um, you know, it's, it's just going to, the only thing that's going to change is it is going to be a little bit harder. You have to, you'll have to dedicate yourself to making sure you set that time apart, you know, so you can have that special time with your spouse. Yeah, so sometimes you may have to plan it a little bit more, but to me, that's about the only thing that changes. Like now, you know, I can tell you, say since me and Dewana having kids, you know, we'll actually, if we take a lot more effort to schedule something, like, hey boo, let's do this on this day, or let's do this, you know, tomorrow night or something. Or just doing something as a family and spending time. Like we love to watch movies together or sit and play games and stuff. Just doing something where you're all interacting and just not excluding you know each other whatever but yeah we'll do that with the kids earlier in the day and then they'll go off to bed and we'll still have like an hour or two or three to ourselves to do what we want to do so i think that's important mm -hmm. you just have to find that new balance you know since you have the kids you, you everyone needs their time mm -hmm. including your spouse especially your spouse and with you getting that time to with y'all getting your time together it's going to make you all stronger with each other, it's also going to bring out, you know, and enhance that relationship you have with your kids. Mm -hmm. Because kids, they get to see, you know, they see the happiness. They see the joy that y'all bring. And that's going to help your kids as they get older because they're going to want to do the same things that y'all do. Oh, yeah. Like our daughter, Aya, she loves it when we kiss or are very affectionate with one another in front of them. She comes in and, like, try to gets in on the hug and she wants her own kisses and stuff. So... I think it's important. Even our boys, sometimes if we're kissing and hugging, they'll come over too and just, you know, try to get in on the hugs and stuff because they feel the love. And we make sure we do the same with them. We love them, we kiss them, and just, you know, treat, show them affection. I think that's important to show kids that don't be afraid of affection. If you guys have any questions for us or anything you want us to discuss, let us know. We might do make this like a... I don't know if we're... I don't know. We can do this. Yeah, if we get a, if we get a good question, you know, something yeah. that deserves, you know, something that we need to talk about, then we'd love to sit down and eat and talk about it and discuss it with you. Do another We'll call mm -hmm. it, uh, what is it called? Late Night Talks with the Curly Cooper Parents or Who something? knows what know. we're going to call this thing, but <laughs> we'll sit down, we'll eat, and we'll talk about it. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. But I think as far as this talk for tonight, guys, mm -hmm. uh, we're done. We're going to... We're going to get some uh, more alone time mm -hmm. with ourselves and get up out of here. So if you like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up, comment, like, subscribe, and all the good stuff. And marriage doesn't have to be hard. Out!